Hello everybody from Monkey Nights. We are now with Steve Hall. He's, uh, he works at Microsoft with the Xamarin team. He, he's here at, in Brazil for the Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2017 launch event. And we have some questions for him about Xamarin and the Brazilian community. Nice to have you here, Steve. <laughs> yeah, thank you, it's, it's uh, great to be here and talk to you and hear more about your community. Uh, you know, you were telling me about all the great members you have and the events you plan for the community over many years. It's, it's wonderful that you do those things. Thank you. So, um, what do you think about Xamarin, um, uh, especially in Brazil, and how do you see Xamarin introduced in the Brazilian market? Yeah, this is, this is my first trip to Brazil uh, this week. And, and just in two days, I've been able to meet with many companies and many developers who have been using Xamarin. Uh, to develop apps uh, for iOS, for Android, uh, great teams of C-sharp developers who are really excited about mobile. And to, so to see that enthusiasm is wonderful. And, and now to pair that with tonight's event, which brought in a bunch of different user communities, uh, .NET and Xamarin user communities, and we have hundreds of people attending this event tonight and hearing more about what Microsoft is offering uh, with respect to Xamarin Platform, uh, testing solutions with Xamarin Test Cloud, uh, and and of course all the excitement around automating this whole mobile DevOps with with Visual Studio Mobile Center. So this has been great, and the the reception we've had is fantastic. Awesome! Uh, hope you have an awesome time here in Brazil. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, about this launch of Visual Studio 2017 launch um, today is the first day. It's just been released in the wild, and what to expect from Xamarin inside this new Visual Studio experience that we're having now. Yeah, today is the launch day, right? 20 years of Visual Studio. Uh, and, and I go back all 20 years. I used the first version of Visual Studio and it changed how we develop. Uh, it was an amazing IDE 20 years ago. And today, if we look at all the things that have been added to Visual Studio to make developers more productive, uh, and now, um, as, as we know, the, in 2015 version of Visual Studio, we had Xamarin included in the bundle. You can install Xamarin right from the Visual Studio installer in Visual Studio 2015. Today, that experience is even better. Visual Studio 2017 is the best IDE for mobile developers because it makes them very productive. So using the, the Xamarin platform in Visual Studio uh, now with all of the uh, great new features to help that productivity cycle, decrease the inner loop cycle time of development so you can just be more productive is, is fantastic to hear. And I have to say, my favorite new feature when I saw this at the launch event today was this whole idea of being able to uh, fine tune the IntelliSense uh, finally, so you don't have to scroll through every list of every property, <laughs> method, and event, but actually see these in these category tabs for events and properties and methods. Oh man, that uh, that made my day. <laughs> right. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we have so many new features inside Visual Studio 2017, especially for Xamarin. We have the uh, integrated now on on the on the bundle. Uh, Visual Studio um, and Xamarin Previewer, Xamarin Forms Previewer. We have a native Previewer, uh, which works for Android and iOS, and it's awesome. It's way more productive to use that. Uh, and what else for DevOps? Do you have any? We have any news for DevOps? Well, you know, to to expand on what you just said, some of those sort of real critical developer tools that Xamarin provides for enterprise developers things like the profiler, you know, eventually when you write code, you're going to run into a problem that only a profiler can fix for you. Mm. Where is my memory leaking? Where, you know, where is my uh, performance going wrong? And, and the only way to really do that, uh, to fix that problem is to find it and using profiler is going to help a lot. Uh, with respect to DevOps, you know, this is, DevOps is, is really, uh, so much more than a buzzword uh, in enterprise mobile development because as you move from one app and start building tens, dozens, hundreds of apps, you have to refine this cycle. You have to be very efficient with your team in coding your application, in, in uh, testing that application, distributing your application, collecting feedback and learning from that application while it's in production. 
So that whole cycle, we need to automate and make sure that we can, uh, we can reduce the amount of time in between each stage. So when I code some changes in my application and check those changes in, I wanna build that and test it as quickly as possible. And so Visual Studio Mobile Center is our way of doing that because of course you're able with a lot of continuous integration, continuous deployment tools, uh, even in Visual Studio Team Services, do some of those things today, automate some of those tasks. But you're always stuck ending up having to write some glue to make these all work yeah, together. Yeah, we're not yeah. only one good tool. <laughs> exactly. You have to go to Hockey App, websites, with so many different tools and websites, and it was a, a mess. <laughs> yeah, or it's something that could be improved, certainly. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so I think that's what the, the team has done, is they've taken all of the great resources and services of Hockey App, of Xamarin Test Cloud, and, and those in Visual Studio Team Services, and even parts of Azure. A, a Visual Studio a Mobile Center even leverages parts of Azure for making it easy to add authentication to your application and integrate to some of the Azure services and tables and things like that. It makes it so easy for a developer. With, with very little time, they can bring their app into Mobile Center and it instruments it and puts it in this whole life cycle and automates it for you. Uh, so it, it's great to see that and it's, it's great to hear people's feedback from that as I've been talking about it this week as well. This is something that they're very excited about. Awesome, that's awesome. Um, and uh, we just told you about uh, the, the event that we are hosting in uh, 26th and 27th of May this year. Uh, it's called Xamarin Summit. This sounds wonderful. Yeah. Right? <laughs> There's nothing like getting together a lot of mobile developers for an event. We've seen in, in the Xamarin Evolve, so we've hosted the, the Evolve events, um, of which we've had three of them in Xamarin's history. They are amazing ways for developers to get together, talk to each other, learn from each other, uh, and, and be able to talk about the apps they're building and how they're building these great apps. Mobile still is very new to people, and, and we need more mobile developers. So the events like this are critical for building that enthusiasm, building the community, and, and getting people to be even more, uh, you know, getting people to be better developers uh, than they are today. Well, basically that was what we were going to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much and enjoy your time in Brazil. Yeah, my pleasure, thank you.